Alright, in this video we're going to be taking a look at how to use emoji characters to spice up your uh, crates and uh, your track listings in Scratch Live. Uh, particularly we're going to be looking at using a star ranking system. Now, a lot of people that use iTunes use the star ranking system so they can label tracks, you know, three stars for uh, okay medium tracks, four stars for uh, uh, pretty good tracks, then five stars for their, you know, their top uh, peak hour tracks, their bangers, their heaters, or whatnot. Now, unfortunately, Scratch Live cannot import the iTunes star rating system, and Scratch Live doesn't have any type of star rating system itself built into the crate as a selectable column. So what a lot of people do is use one of the other columns that they don't use, like the remixer, or what else you can use, the, the comments, which uh, a lot of people probably do use, so you might not want to use the comment one. Uh, composer, that's a pretty obscure one that a lot of people don't use. Uh, the grouping column, uh, a lot of people use that, though, for like the keys and stuff. Uh, but some people don't, because since we have a dedicated key column now, so grouping, you can use grouping, or um, label. Label's another one probably not too many people use, or the remixer. I don't really know too many people that use the remixer column, so we're going to use this one just for example. So back to the star ranking system. As mentioned, Scratch Live doesn't have one, and nor can it import the iTunes star rating uh, from your playlist that you use iTunes uh, with. So what a lot of people do is they'll, you know, they'll use one of these columns and then they'll use just like the asterisk, I guess, uh, so they can go like this and, you know, they put little five stars like that and whatnot and label this one three or whatever. Uh, so this is a good start. So now you have at least some kind of star ranking system. Uh, but let's spice it up with some actual stars using the emoji uh, special characters on a Mac. Uh, let's exit, uh, not exit, we'll just tab out to Finder. And if we go down to Edit and go to Special Characters, all right, uh, you should see this box pop up, and then let's go down to Emoji, and then click on the Nature, and if we scroll down to the bottom, uh, you should see this nice little star right here. Uh, so what we're going to do is copy this to the clipboard. Uh, let me just uh, paste it up in here real quick. Like that. Alright, so once you get it up there, just hit Command plus E to copy it to your clipboard. So now what we can do is we can use this in Scratch Live, or really you can use any other of the Emoji characters or any other symbols you want as well. So you can use any of these... Uh, animals you want, the smiley faces, uh, places, anything. You can all use all these characters in Scratch Live, uh, surprisingly. Alright, so back here we're going to use this instead. Uh, so uh, we copied it to the clipboard, so we'll just paste it. So Command plus V, one, two, three, four, five. Alright, so that was a five star one. And this one is a three star one, like so. So as you can see, now you have a nice uh, actual star looking uh, column in Scratch Live. Now I've already gone through and already labeled mine with the different ones. So let's just get rid of the remixer column. Uh, I did this in the uh, composer column, I think. Oh, where to go? Where to go? Composer. There we go. So as you can see now, we have a nice column of star raking for my tracks. And what's good about this is you can even sort by it as well. So uh, it'll sort all your one star, two star, three star, four star, and all your five star uh, heater and banger tracks. Uh, so here you go. This is just a little interesting way to be able to use emoji characters uh, in Scratch Live. Um, for this particular instance, we're going to be showing you how to use the star ranking system. Uh, we'll take a look at some other cool little tips and tricks you can use uh, with this as well. Alright, the next thing we're going to take a look at is something I like to call divider tracks. Now this is a technique that I see a lot of reggae and dancehall DJs do. And what it does is it separates all their tracks in their crates by rhythm. A lot of DJ, a lot of reggae and dancehall DJs like to separate their tracks by rhythm. Uh, that's basically how uh, the majority of the reggae and dancehall DJs I see how they sort and organize their music is by rhythm, uh, because most reggae and dancehall sounds uh, share the same rhythm. A uh, rhythm is basically just a short little sound or sample that uh, many many tracks share together. Uh, so basically what they do is they import these dummy mp3 files, which are just blank mp3 files. They don't contain any music. They're just basically using the, the, the mp3's id3 tags uh, as kind of a separator marker in Scratch Live. Now I'm going to be using combining this with the emoji icons I just showed you previously. Uh, so basically what you do is import all your dummy mp3 files and you just organize them by, uh, you sort by the number column and then you can move them up or down. And then basically what you do is just type in uh, whatever you want or use whatever emoji icon or any other icon you want to use to separate your tracks. Now, like I said, this is popular with the reggae and dancehall DJs, but I do not play reggae or, or dancehall. Uh, but I do, uh, I figured, uh, you know, might as well use something like the key of the tracks to separate them. Because uh, I have, I key all my tracks to mixed in key. 
so basically what I've done is just basically made divider tracks for all the keys um, of my tracks. So starting up at the top, here's all the tracks with 1A, you know, and then we hit this divider line right here. So every song after this uh, divider marker is going to be songs with 2A, as you can see down here in the key column. And just likewise, 3A, 4A, uh, 5A, 6A, 7A, blah, blah, blah. You get the point, I think. But uh, as you can see, it's just a nice, quick, you know, you know visual way that you can see from uh, a distance, you know, if you're not always with your face in front of your computer, a.k.a. the Serato face. Uh, so this is just a good visual way to uh, navigate your tracks faster in Scratch Live. Uh, so basically, um, yeah, this is it. Something that I just like to call divider tracks that you can use uh, also with the emojicons that I just showed you previously using the star ranking. So uh, these are just a couple of tips and tricks that you could use to maybe uh, help you further organize and categorize your music in Scratch Live.